Hello. Okay, hello. In this um, screencast, I'm just experimenting with some tools that help me to make cities. In the New York work that I'm doing, I'm doing print work um, mixed with traditional, well, computer graphics with traditional work called Tradigital. And um, I'm just experimenting with different ways to make a city skyline because I decided last night I don't want to you know laboriously edit each building and I don't want to make a representation of New York um, from photos um, it's an inspir it's going to be a an image inspired by the skyline of New York so we're gonna have lots of skyscrapers and it was when I was on a trip to New York I went up the Rockefeller building and um, I want to get inspired and make a sort of abstract piece with some representational images and this will be printed on canvas. Um, so for now I'm looking at ways to um, develop the 3D graphics sides and later <clears throat> draw on top of that projecting onto a wall and use the 3D graphics as a, as a base to, to draw on. Um, so what I'm doing is looking at different plugins and there are two different plugins I found. There's some other ones that are good. I'll list them as well. Um, but the two plugins I'm going to look at today and I'm investigating is the first one is called Ghost Town and this is by somebody called killad.net or killad.net and this is a good plugin and the other one is a much older plugin called Greeble. Okay, so I'm going to look at both of these and um, both of them require some installation so you have to use their instructions to install them. They're fairly simple sometimes you think what's going on but when you read the, um, the exact installation stuff it's alright. Okay so the first time I'm gonna load this ghost town and I've put it on the quad me menu okay. <coughs> okay so ghost town's loading. This is ghost town light I think the main one you have to pay for but this can do things. So you show guide you have to make sure you show this guide and this guide is much bigger than the the um, my planes, although my planes are quite big, which is a bit of a concern. Anyway, um, there are some issues with this ghost town that can be buggy, but again, as long as you follow the instructions, it's it kind of works. Yeah. So I'm going to take this one here, and what I'm also going to do is. Convert this to an editable poly, and then I'm going to make some lumps and bumps on it. See what happens. So there's a lump and bump. And I'm going to also copy it there for later reference to use with the Greedle plugin. So without much further ado, I will see. Press it. See. Ah build. I'm going to build it. Okay, good, 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 good. So it suddenly built me a city. I need to increase the increments of the, yeah, of the movement when I pan. So now we've got an instant city, yeah. And you can instantly delete things because what I want to do with this is not have any of this grass and all this stuff. Basically I want the abstract blocks. Okay, so that's all I really want Ghost Town for. There's a whole lot of other options here. I might investigate them another time. And it's a really good plugin. Um, it's got objects and textures and you can add trees and things. So that's a really good thing to look at. You can look on YouTube or this Killer D's site. But anyway, as I say, I'm just doing my thing with this. So I'm taking away all the uh, extra elements and just leaving these housing blocks because the housing blocks look good to me. And then I'm going to go up on the top. Just delete this again. Da, 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 da. Delete, delete, delete. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Okay. So, and then I'm going to get a sun system. A daylight system. Always get that mixed up. Of all the years using it, always mix up. Right. And I'm going to do my usual in the afternoon, early evening sunsets. 
look because I love this look. This is my favorite time, and I think it's a very nice effect and colors. So the sun's going low down 16, 15, 16, 18, sorry. So now it's gone like that. And I'll change this to, you have to change the sunlight to mental ray because it looks good like this. So just change the skylight to mental ray. Okay. Make sure I'm on rendering, render setup, and go to renderer and go to common and go to assign renderer, give it the mental ray, NVIDIA mental ray, and it's instantly assigned it. So now we've got the good, good look here with the lighting. I think I'll take the sun down a bit more. So as you can see, really, really quick way to get things down. That's the month, isn't it? Duh. So well, I think it's not going to. OK, that's quite a nice one there. Yeah, so now we've got some nice shadows built up in a sort of sunset scene. And what I want to do is have control over this. And the good thing about this plugin, it seems to have good control because I can go into the boxes and then I can scale each box down. Yeah. And I can also go onto each element and scale each element down. So, yeah, fair enough. The, the tops here are, are not moving with the faces, but then I can just move them down, whatever. And again, let's freeze the sun compass there because it's annoying me. So it keeps clicking it up, clicking it. And then again, scale. So I can start to build up my own topography of a city or architecture of the city by increasing the sizes. Because what I want in my final image is to have the buildings in the background a bit higher, yeah, and the buildings in the foreground lower. Right, and there we have it. We see that these roofs are not moving with the main objects, but that's just a simple edit like that, like so. And this is a good plugin because it has streets, so you've got this the grid system coming in. Okay, do a quick render here of this. Set up the render window. Just render setups open. Go to common. Make a nice panavision. Wide render. Let's check out what it looks like. Okay, so that's one render. Looks all right. Do another one. Low down. Where should we do it? Get the sun from here. Okay, let's do a sort of one with the sun behind us. And then the buildings like that. Let's check, see what's going to happen there. Okay. All right, so that's an OK render. So that's your ghost town. Now I'm going to check out Greeble. And as you see, it's a lot quicker. So Greeble, we go to the plane, go to modifiers. And if you've installed it correctly, it should be there. So there we go, Greeble. Yeah. So now we've got some buildings here. Unfortunately, it's they're kind of too big. So I need to take the Greeble off. And then I guess I. I've kind of forgotten because I've used this such a long time ago. I take the whole plane and tessellate it. Oh, tessellate it using. Actually, it's turbo smoothing. Turbo smooth. Okay. Convert to editable poly and then let's greebalize it and see if that works. 
good. Yeah, so it's dependent on the, the mesh resolution, I think. Let's have a look again. Right. And what I'll do is mesh smooth again. So the houses will be a lot smaller. The skyscrapers will be a lot smaller. So agreeable. Whoa, so now we've got a lot of buildings. And as I say, you can edit the height here. <clears throat> the minimum height and then the maximum height you can edit here. One problem with this though is that we've got where the topography curves the buildings don't are not straight or bent so you have to get round that somehow and one of the ways I found out to do it is to when you make the plane do another quick simple one with a few um, segments so I'll give it some segments here and there and one of the solutions I found <coughs> is where you want the area to to be on a hill you have to extrude it so extrude it but make sure your faces are still facing in the same direction so let's give it an, ex an, an extrude here then add the greeble ah oh, that purple color is annoying me I'm going to change it okay, just a minute sorry okay so let's add the greeble again when it's a nice gray. Greeble, greeble, greeble. Minimum height one, maximum height 10. So bring up the maximum height. So it's coming up, coming up. You can also see it coming through the sides, but because the buildings are gonna be tall, we don't need to worry about that so much. So we've got max height. And all these other settings here. So again, the buildings here are straight, whereas the buildings here are bent. And then let's try converting that into editable poly. See if I can edit the buildings a bit myself. I want some control over the, the sizes. Yeah, again, I can push things up and down. Some of the elements, again, are staying in the air. But we can delete them or move them as well. So with some tweaking, I can tweak exactly where the buildings are going on Greeble as well. And there are other ways to tweak it as well. You could put an FFD box on it. And then mess around like that. Do stuff like this. So the FFD box creates a kind of grid where you can play around with the, the ups and downs. Yeah, it's quite effective actually. Good. Yeah, that's nice. It's creating lots of hills, a lot of potential to, to tweak it there. So remember, if you have your greeble and the, the buildings look like bananas like this, make sure you do it on a plane where you only step extrude the places you want as hills and remember you don't even have to do that because then you can edit the buildings after the greeble convert it to an editable mesh and even use things like ffd um, ffds to edit it a bit like that as well and let's just check out a quick render from somewhere where shall we do it here so we've got some big foreground buildings and then we've got a kind of hill and then we've got a massive city with the bendy buildings behind it. Okay, let's try and render it here. Render it here. Okay, so here's the, um, the render. 
um, is all right, isn't it? So a bit of a contrast in this fairly long screencast, but it helps me and hopefully it helps you as well. So to, de to edit buildings, you can use Ghost Town, edit big cityscapes, you can use Ghost Town, or you can use Greeble. You can use other plugins as well. Um, and <clears throat> both of these plugins have the good potential to edit the cities beyond what the plugin does for you. Okay, um, hopefully you've found this useful. I found this investigation useful for myself. Um, any questions, comments, please do so, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you, and speak to you soon. Bye.